So, it's early and it's still dark. I left the house about a half hour early today so I could go get some supplies and uh, just get my day started a little bit earlier and be prepared. But, what up, what up, what up, what up, YouTube? It's your boy G-R-E-J-S-M-O. So, let's see if the truck will start up with no problems today. Past couple days, been having a little issue. So, as an update, I know I started push-ups for Dion. And, uh, to be honest, I just completely forgot. But, you know, after a long day's work, sometimes you want to come home and relax. So, what I'm gonna do? So, today was a pretty smooth day. Um, didn't get caught underneath anyone's house. Uh, didn't poke my head in the attic. Uh, actually, uh, it was rather smooth. I think I may go out and uh, cut the grass starting to look a mess uh i wish i had some of that uh what's that stuff called for the weed whacker the 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 string or cord that would help out a lot but just wanted to uh you know talk with you guys for a little bit one second so you know get the sun shining on this side this side has a little bit of shade so let's throw some shade First of all, all right, now this isn't me being angry. I'm not, you know, in my angry black man mode, but I, I just got the quest. I got a question, man. Why do people think that it's okay to call others out on things that they're doing? So, for instance, if you're broke, why is it okay for you to call out other people on being broke? If... Let's say you are single and you're looking for a mate. Uh, you know, being on social media, you know, flaunting yourself around, that's not going to get you a mate. It, it'll get you, you know, a one-nighter. It'll get you, you know, some fun. It might, you know, cause people to look at it, but it will not find you a significant mate. Um, it's just, I mean, yo, so much shade. I'm thinking about doing like a whole series on like just stuff that I see online, like, you know, through Instagram and YouTube, just, just, just cut it out, please cut it out. So, uh, for example, uh, I saw this one person who talked trash about another person for a while and then, you know, it's like, oh, well. Yeah, me and this person are friends now. Like, yo, you, you you was making it sound like you would never talk to this other individual again. You would never be their friend. You would never... Like, the way that you were coming off was like... Like, you hated this person. And in reality, you really, you know, were upset that that person didn't accept you. So, not to pinpoint on this one person, but people do this a lot. People will take... Um, how one person is treating them uh, as a, uh, what am I thinking of? Like, they'll, they'll say, oh, well, this person won't accept me, therefore I hate them. That's not it. Yo, you're hurt. I think that we as people don't understand our own emotions uh, a lot of the time, and uh, we get angry. So, you know, instead of, you know, being upset that, you know, someone didn't accept you, and you saying that you hate them, just say, listen, I'm hurt that you didn't accept me um, because I really wanted your acceptance. A lot of people don't want to admit that. They don't want to admit that they need other people. But everybody who says that, you know, oh, I'm independent. I don't need nobody. You're wrong. We as people are social people. We are interdependent. We need each other. Uh, I need people to watch my YouTube video just like my YouTube family needs for me to create content. Um, that, that's just the way it is. Uh, and, uh, just real quick on the second topic, cause I don't want this to be a really long video, but like, 
there's another person that I follow on uh, you know some other social medias. I ain't going to put it out there because they're going to know exactly who they are just by me talking about this. But they constantly point the finger at other people saying, oh, well, uh, you know, you out here, you know, chasing females. Bro, you chasing them too. Well, nah, nah, not like that. Well, they be out here lying. Yo, you be lying too. Yo, man, don't, don't be worrying about these girls. Go out here and get your money. You don't have a job. Like... You don't have anything for yourself. At, at a certain point in life, you have to take ownership and say, hey, uh, I kind of need to show that I've been doing something while I was alive. You may not believe in, you know, a higher power, heaven or hell. You might simply just look at life as, you know, this is what it is. But at the end of the day, when you die, because everybody dies, this isn't, a, you know, like I'm not threatening anybody. Everybody dies. You're going to have to say that, you know, you did something. Um, you know, people talk about their accolades and, you know, everything that they did. They talk about this stuff a lot. And if you don't have anything to show for your life, you were just a waste. So, I hate for this to be a down video. Sorry, Dion, I wasn't able to keep up with your, you know, push-up challenge. Uh, I just benched 410. Uh, so, I'm really excited about that. Um, I want to be able to hit a full uh, squat for 500. Uh, I want to be able to do a full deadlift for um, six. And uh, then I'm going to work on, you know, bringing the weight down, you know, putting the arms, you know, at a full 20. Um, and, uh, you know, focus on the legs. Legs will come easy. I'm, I'm not worried about that. But I just wanted to, you know, just share some, you know, I had to, I had to get this off my chest. You know, I've been pretty dormant, uh, you know, on social media, especially you on YouTube. I haven't been putting out videos like I used to. I used to vlog a lot. Um, I just saw my nephew. He, he's getting into the whole vlogging thing and kind of it brought a spark back to me. I was like, you know what? Let me get back into the vlog and let me, you know, go ahead and share a little bit more of my life. So this is it. Um, that's it. Uh, I'll probably have uh, my wife made some spaghetti ketchup spaghetti i don't know i haven't tasted it yet i'm gonna go ahead and give it a try and uh you know i guess i'll see you guys in the next video it's your boy G R E J S M O, and i'm at